Hi, everybody. First, I would like to thank Wirecell for having us. Well, I'm Carla Zaldúa, and CEO and co-founder of Accessible. What we do in Accessible is we identify speech biomarkers in order to early detect and monitor mental health conditions. We founded Accessible in 2018, and th this might be our founding hypothesis that when something goes wrong in the brain, it will likely show up in the voice. So there is uh, millions of people that suffer mental health conditions, and most importantly, they are underdiagnosed and they are late diagnosed. No, yearly, for example, yearly for dementia, only 18% of the people diagnosed yearly are at early stages. Well, some of the reasons are because there, we don't have appropriate tools and there's a lack of professionals. No, there's an imbalance between so many people suffering from mental health conditions and the number of uh, professionals. So, inaccessible. We wanted to identify speech markers in order to early detect these mental health conditions and have a treatment as soon as possible. So we work in the intersection of neuroscience, linguistics, and mathematics. So basically, we combine neuroscience, scientific, and linguistic knowledge, and we translated um, this knowledge to formulas, to algorithms. So basically, we've done a platform or any person with a device that has a microphone, con a microphone connection and internet does our speech test and it's sent to our cloud where we do two types of analysis. On one side, we analyze what is the person saying, the linguistic part. On the other one, how is he or she saying it, the voice features. And in a couple of minutes, we will give back a result to the health professional. If that person is, is healthy or might, have a, might be suffering a cognitive impairment, that is a pre-dementia state or um, um, depression, for example. To build our models, we have done a series of clinical trials where we do, for example, for my cognitive impairment or dementia, an in-depth neuropsychological exploration, blood test, neuroimage, and CSF. And also we capture the, the participant's voice. We build our models and we see how many times our models say the same as the doctor's diagnose. And here we've got a 90% accuracy, 90% sensitivity, and 89% specificity. What is happening at present is that we have ongoing labeled data sets that are, that are com coming in into our database. And what we see is that these percentages remain the same. So we can say we have uh, robust AI models. Where is, it, where is accessible being used? Well, it can be used as a screening test. So there, we've got here in the, in the UK, we, have, we are working with the National Health System in Cornwall where somebody comes in to the GP with a memory complaint and they run our test. If it turns out positive, they are redirected to a memory clinic. In Spain, we are doing the same, the same uh, pilot, but in that case, we're doing it by phone. So we already detected, so now what, what can we do with our, with our platform? It's monitor what, what monitor uh, the well, malcognitive impairment, depression, or anxiety. So uh, here, for example, we're involved in a clinical trial where we are uh, looking at the impact of a pharma treatment in the cognitive functions of a person through, through our models. Also, um, we are involved in a digital therapy for, a person, for people's well-being, where they are tracking the emotional well, they're using our models as a mood tracker for depression and anxiety. And lastly, well, uh, we, we are one step uh, in, in advance forward that we're doing. It's, we, are, we are looking at, uh, at our tool as a pre-screening tool for biological biomarkers. In Alzheimer's, in Alzheimer's disease, there's a preclinical stage where you cannot uh, see any symptoms. But there, is, there are biological biomarkers that you can identify that you probably may, may have in the future uh, develop Alzheimer's disease. So here, um, as it could be beta amyloid. So here, what we've been doing is we've um, looked at the relation between our scores voice model scores and the beta amyloid. And there we have, been, we have seen there is a correlation. And just to, well, to wrap up, uh, more than 40 neurologists and psychiatrists are using our, our platform. We have more than 10,000 patients. We are in five markets. And uh, we have different uh, commercial partners, foundations that back our, uh, our algorithms, and different, we have different uh, pilots running with public uh, hospitals. And finally, well, 
Uh, accessible is the tool for the early detection of mental health conditions for a speed up access to treatment.